welcome to Podlatskia here in northeastern Poland and you can immerse yourself in beautiful natural surroundings. But this is a region that's also looking to put itself on the map for a forest of a very different kind. Podlaskia wants to become a kind of silicon forest through its blossoming tech and IT scene, growing an ecosystem which is already employing more than 10,000 people in the IT sector, including over 4,000 software developers. This advanced augmented reality technology helps speed up work in science laboratories, doing away with some manual, time-consuming tasks. With new drug, uh, it needs 10 to 15 years to be developed. This reduces the time of one, two, to even three years less. I can fully focus as a scientist on my work, as I can see everything in my eyesight and navigate through voice commands, so work with my hands free. Hollow for Labs is part of the international tender hut group, which is rooted in Podlaskia. If we are talking about the future and uh, what we want to do here also is that uh, we are really working closely with the old universities. We are trying to train the new people. We are trying to you know, have the best employees uh, as we can. And uh, I also seeing a lot of growth here. For the Medical University of Białystok in the regional capital, tech is at the heart of research, focusing on things like artificial intelligence and how it can help personalize future treatments. There's like a great environment for collaboration between university, like academia and the business partners, which helps to develop tools that will actually be delivered to the patient's bed. And the other thing, like we were lucky to have like a partners with like huge experience, especially from the US or like from Germany. Meet Photon, an interactive robot which can see, hear and perceive touch. It's the brainchild of Podlaskia graduates, helping to introduce school children to technology. Robots are actually a tool for teachers to conduct different lessons. We are giving them robots, materials and applications, and all of that combined helps them to conduct lessons in social-emotional learning, AI, robotics, coding, and for example, work with children with special needs. Designed and assembled in Podlaskia, Photon says 60,000 of its robots are now deployed in classrooms in Europe and the US. And as it grows, the startup wants to stay loyal to its roots. I see a lot of region development in terms of new companies and technology coming to this region and I think it's super helpful that we can develop together. For the future I think we of course will be doing some global and international expansion but the core of the company will be still here. The technical and creative minds behind Photon graduated from here, the Białystok University of Technology. It's building a track record of graduate startups, helping to retain young minds in the region. Już na etapie rekrutacji pokazujemy um, przyszłym kandydatom na studia możliwości rozwoju kariery inżynierskiej w naszym regionie. W trakcie studiów ściśle współpracujemy z przedsiębiorcami, organizując staże w przedsiębiorstwach, wizyty studyjne, wykłady i zajęcia praktyków na terenie naszej uczelni. Around 9,000 students graduate in Podlaskia each year. A young, skilled workforce this region is relying on to realize its innovation and investment vision. We had many study visits to foreign countries. We went to Silicon Valley, to Israel and many European countries. We tried to train as much as people possible, but still it's, I think, not enough. So this is the main challenge. I think not only in this part of Poland, but all over the EU.